Hello, everybody. It is time for science. All right. Last week, we learned that scientists not only make observations, but they also record their observations to remember them later. One of the reasons why scientists record their observations is so that they can share their observations with other scientists and with other people. Why do you think it's important to share your observations with other scientists and with other people? Let's think about that for one second. If there's someone sitting next to you, go ahead and share your answer. Why do you think it's important to share your observations with others? Well, we share so that we can learn from each other and so that we can make more observations. When scientists share, let's say a scientist shares with you, you will then know what they know so you don't have to start over at the beginning. So when we start doing scientists, we know all the things that the scientists did before us. So we don't need to redo those things. We get to start where they left off. So today we are going to practice sharing our observations that we have recorded in our science journal. So right now, I need you to pause the video for a second and go get your science journal. Okay, everybody has it? So here's my science journal. I printed it out and Mrs. Semke gave me this fancy new camera. So now I can show you what's in my science journal. So you'll remember last week we went through and we made observations of different pictures or something at our houses. And we went through this sheet. So we observed the feather. And so we wrote that we were observing the feather. Then we wrote what we observed. What did we notice about the feather? We noticed that it was gray and white. We noticed that it's jagged and has smooth edges. And there's, I noticed that there was a part with no feathers on it. Then we drew a picture of our feather. And then we tried to make some questions and predictions. My question was, what kind of bird is this feather from? Then our homework was to look at one of the other pictures or at the pine cone and write those observations in our science journal. So I looked at the picture of the hummingbirds. And if you want, you can go back and look at those pictures. And so you can remember. So the item that I'm observing is the hummingbirds. And I noticed that there were two hummingbirds that they are blue and gray, and they are by a pink flower. Then I drew my picture of the two hummingbirds, and then my questions that I had is where are they and how big are they? Now, our job today is we are, you can use your old prediction, the one like my hummingbirds, or you can look at one of the pictures again, and you are going to share those observations on, on Seesaw or over email. And how you're going to do that, I'm going to make another video to show you how to share your observations on Seesaw. All right, so I look forward to that video with you. I am going to show you how to share your observations on Seesaw so that everyone in the class can learn from your observations. You do not have to do this. You can just share your observations with your teacher. But if you want to share it with your classmates, we are going to share it to the blog. So I'm going to show you how to do this. The first thing you do is click Add Response. Then, oops, sometimes it's slow. Then you're going to click your name. I am Sample Student. Then you go over to the picture that you observed in your science journal last week. Now I observed the hummingbird, so I'm going to click on the hummingbirds. 
Then I'm going to click on the microphone. Now you want to make sure that you have your science journal sitting with you so that you can read your observations that you made last week. Now I'm going to click on the microphone and I'm going to read my, my observation. I recorded the hummingbirds. I noticed that there are two hummingbirds. They are blue and gray. They are by a pink flower. Questions and predictions I have. I'm wondering where are they and how big are they? Okay, so now I'm done. So I'm going to click done up here. And then I want to click the green check mark to turn it in. Okay, so now you've turned it in to your teacher, which is great. But if you also want to share it with your classmates so that your classmates can look at it, learn from your observations, and make comments about your observations, you are going to go down here where it says like, it says comment, there's a little air bubble, a graduate, a folder, and see this globe right here? This globe will submit your journal entry onto the blog so that everyone in the class can see it. So we're going to click on the little globe. It says publish to blog. You're going to, yep, yeah, you're going to publish it to the blog. Now, maybe later in the day, because you want to make sure that there are some uh, other people's observations in the blog, you're going to go over here where it says journal, activities, inbox, and here's the blog again. So you're going to click on the blog. And it's going to take you into the blog where you'll be able to see other people's entries. So now you're going to click through. There's no microphone or play button on this one. So there's no observations on this one. Let's see. There's none on the feather either. But here when we get to the hummingbird, there's a play button. So you'll go ahead and you will hit the play button. I recorded the hummingbirds. I noticed that there are two hummingbirds. They are blue and gray. They so you will listen to the observations of your friends and then you can go ahead and make comments down on the bottom about maybe something that you learned from the hummingbird from their video or maybe I observed the same things. Whatever kind of comment you want to make to your friends about their observations. Then you click post. And you'll be able to hear each other's observations and share them with each other. Now remember, if this is too hard or you get frustrated, just stop. And submitting it to your teacher is just great. But if you want to try this, this might be something fun for you to do. All right, good luck. Let me know if you have any trouble. Bye.